Welcome everyone to the latest Coffee Break webinar by RIB Costex. My name is Francesca Nottingham and I'm a Costex consultant in RIB software. As you can see on screen, this month's topic is constants. So we'll have a look at how you would use this functionality in the software throughout this webinar. For those of you who don't know what Costex is, or for those who have never used it, Costex is a fully integrated measuring and estimating solution with universal applications supporting everything from hand-drawn sketches to PDFs, DWGs, all the way through to 3D models, BIM files, and everything in between. As we can see from this matrix, RIB Costex is available in a variety of licenses, ranging from offering all functionality to a fairly limited option, depending on your estimating requirements. Delving deeper into each functionality, let's look at the components, breaking down how each of them are cohesive with one another, bringing you an all-in-one service. You have your takeoff options to start with, whether you're using 3D BIM or 2D drawings, Costex provides accurate data, enabling you to utilize this data within your workbook. So our workbooks are just like Excel spreadsheets, but they are our own version. They still have the ability to use formulas and functions, making them very easy to navigate and use. We then have revisions tracking. Now this offers an accurate method of comparing a previous revision with a new one, giving you multiple ways to highlight, identify and quantify any changes, meaning you're always up to date with the latest cost implications. Once you've completed your estimate, you then have the opportunity to produce a report. Now we offer various standard report templates for you to use. Alternatively, you can customise your own report, producing a professional quality output. Don't forget to check out our RIB Costex YouTube channel where we upload our Coffee Break webinars and you can also subscribe so you can get notified of the latest videos and kept up to date with the newest features and how-to videos. So this month's webinar, as previously mentioned, we will be reviewing the functionality of constants within Costex. Firstly, let's discuss what these are. So constants are a numerical value that can be referenced in a building within your project. So when can we use them? So they can be brought into any calculations, whether that's for a takeoff or some build up information in your workbook. Can they be imported from external sources? Yes, they can. So like most things with Costex, you can have a CSV file with your constants information on and you can bring that into the system easily. A couple of things to note. So constants can be updated within Costex or by using Excel for your CSV file. Depending on what works best for you, there are multiple ways to manage your constant values. So you can use constants in both dimension view and workbook view, and I'm going to show you how in the webinar. If you want to give this a go after watching this webinar, then there is more information in the Costex help guide, which is the little question mark button in the top right corner of the software. Alternatively, you can press F1 on your keyboard and then search for constants. Okay, let's take a look at the functionality of constants within Costex. So firstly, let's understand what a constant is. So a constant is any fixed numeric amount that you wish to be referenced in your calculations for your takeoff, whether that's in your workbook or in your dimension groups. There are no set of standards that these can be based on. They can be completed specific to you and there are no limitations as to what you can use. You can use a constant for steel weight conversions, for example. You could use them for your rates, so working out labour hours. You could also use it for wastage amount for materials. A good example would be the numeric constant if you're measuring a pitched roof. What I'll show you first is how we get them into the system and how we can manage them inside and outside of Costex. So like most things with Costex, we've got our system administration and we can go to our constants option. Click on it and then within here we can see exactly what we've got already in the system for our constants. So Firstly, what I'm going to do is just help you understand how to bring these in if you've got a CSV file with all of this information on. So in my Excel document here, I'm going to open this and we can see I've got some information. So column A is my description, column B is my numeric value and column C is my unit of measure. Column D is then my folder structure. So you can see I've got a folder for aluminium. I've got a subfolder of weight and then a subfolder of channels within that. So as I go down, you can see I've got quite a few different constants here. Um, I've got some for brickwork, for example. I've got some for steel. I've also got some for concrete columns and concrete beams. 
I've also got some for uh, form work or labour hours in relation to form work. And I've got some for roofing as well. So the list goes on. This can be as long as you want it to be. It doesn't have to be a set amount and there's no limit. So once you've completed this, uh, you just need to save this as a CSV file. And then once you've done that, you can then go to your system admin, into your constants, and then go to import, and then import constants from CSV, and then just locate that file within your file explorer, and it will bring it into here. Equally, if you want to export what you've done in here, then you can choose the export option, and you can either export to EXF file if you're passing it, to somebody who also has Costec, or you can export to CSV. You can also manage your constants within the system like so. So we've got our folders here and um, our subfolders. We've also got our information within those. So if you wanted to insert these within the system, you can just press insert here and a new window will open and you just have to give it the name, give it a folder, give it a value and a unit of measure, and then it will be input into the system. You can also edit within here. So if you've got an item like this, for example, you can select edit and you can change the value or even the unit of measure or any other credentials. It also gives you some audit trail as to when it was created or modified. Okay, so like I said, there's no limit to this. You can have as much as you want. Um, and it doesn't matter what information it is, just so long as it's useful to you. So once you've got the hang of importing it and exporting it out of the system if necessary, um, then we'll move on to show you exactly how it works within the system. So I'll just close our system admin and just show you an example of how you would use constants in a situation where you have to measure a pitched roof. So we've got our drawing already uploaded here. It's just a simple plan. We've then also got um, a dimension group. So just the one of the roof area. Um, and we've also got a workbook, which has nothing on it yet, um, but we can basically put the information from here into our workbook and I'll show you how constants can be involved. So to begin with, we are just going to do a simple roof area measure. So this has given me my flat roof area here. Very simple to do, very easy calculation. I've now got my value over here sitting in my quantities. Now, if uh, this roof was actually pitched or had a pitch to it, um, then what we can do is create a custom quantity in our dimension group. So I'm gonna double click on my dimension group to open up the properties. So what I'm gonna do is select custom quantities and I'm going to press insert and I'm simply just gonna call this pitched area. I'm going to change the unit of measure to meters squared and now when I go to my measured dimensions I've now got a field for my pitched area where I can enter in a formula to it. So I'm going to click on the ellipse button here. Okay and now I want Costex to work out the area times by the pitch conversion. So I'm just going to select area, double click this so it enters into my expression editor and then I'm going to go into my constants now I should have one here for roofing okay so I've got uh, a roofing folder which applies to coverings or rafters and I can actually select which type of or which degree of roof pitch there is on here so let's for example say that it's a 40 degree roof pitch so I'm just going to double click here and then just enter in my times value so it's going to calculate the area, multiply it by the amount to cater for the 40 degree roof pitch area. So I'm going to click close and we can see that it's got the information there. Now when I press update and I hover over this information, you can see that I've got my area there. So I've got my flat area, which is the 229. And now I've got my pitched area, which is the 299. So it's doing that calculation for me. So 
when I've done that, I can then go into my constants example and uh, let's just say I want to pull across that information for the roof. So let's say I want to do my uh, roof coverings. I can go to my dimension groups and I can pick this up, pull it across, pop it into my quantity and I'm going to select pitched area. Okay, and then update. I can then give it a unit of measure. I can give it a rate, let's just say 160 pounds. Uh, and then I've got my total values here. So that's for my roof coverings for the pitched area. I could again bring that over um, if I just wanted the roof area in general um, and leave it as area and then it wouldn't apply the same amount. Okay, so you can see the difference there. Now, if you hadn't done that in your dimension groups, if you hadn't set it up in your custom quantities, um, that's okay. What you can do in that instance is if you have done your roof area for the flat roof, what you can do is pull across your constant that you need. So let's go into our constants tab. We're then gonna go into our roofing uh, coverings and rafters folder and find the 40 degree pitch. Here we go. And then what we can do is just pull this across to our factor column. And then that's going to apply the value in there. So you can see it's our own custom formula saying get X get constant 40 degree roof pitch. And now when I type in a rate, let's go again with the 160, you can see it's then actually applied to that rate there. So rather than doing it through the dimension group, um, we can actually do it um, in the workbook if you had either forgotten to add it into your dimension group or if there was a change for example or if that's just where you want to see the actual calculation rather than it being hidden in there okay so that's pretty much how you can apply constants so you can use them in both dimension view and you can use them in workbook view um that's just one example you can also use obviously all the rest of these these are actually available on our tech web um, so if you have got access to our tech web, which you should do if you've got Costex, uh, you just need your serial number to log in and then it will allow you to access um, all of our samples and templates. And if I just show you what that looks like, you can see you've got an option here for constants and you can download uh, these constants here. Like I said, you can use them um, as a template and actually bring them in or edit them yourself and then bring them in. It's up to you how you use them. Okay, so I hope that's been helpful. I hope you've learned something and please feel free to like this video and subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with the latest Costex videos.